Hello, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft. Today we're going to take a look at a laser engraver that appears to be very smart, very portable, and it might be a fantastic item to have at a vending show, the Algo Laser Pixie. This thing is tiny. It's built for portability, about as compact as they come, which is great if your bench space is currently occupied. It is also easy to stow away and take out whenever you need it. While it can cut and engrave, the Pixie compact size most likely shines when it comes to quick personalization. Perfect for wallets, keychains, or small projects right on your desk. The Pixie comes in three versions, a 3 watt, a 5 watt, and a 10 watt. The precision is no joke. This Algo Laser Pixie 5 watt has a compressed spot size of 0.03 millimeters to 0.07 millimeters. The 3 watt has a laser spot size of 0.02 millimeters to 0.04 millimeters. That means you can get some really fine detail on your projects. No matter which one you choose, they all share the same 100 by 100 millimeter work area. The aluminum bed is simple but solid. Everything you need for a machine this size. It has a grid so it's easy to line up your material. So no, it's not for engraving a full leather hide. It's for personalizing wallets, keychains, coasters, or just making small things feel more important. For taller or bulkier items, you can raise the entire unit by loosening four thumb screws on the back and repositioning the screws in the pre-drilled holes to the 25, 50, or 75, or 100 millimeter height. That opens a door for projects you cannot expect to fit. You can connect it to a rotary chuck and engrave on round objects as well. On the front, you get a 3.5 inch touchscreen running the software Algo OS. And here's a nice feature. You don't need a computer. The Pixie has its own built-in storage, so you can save files and run jobs directly from the machine. You can even doodle on the touchscreen with a stylus, perfect if you ever feel like engraving a quick sketch. Connectivity is flexible. Use their mobile app, hook it up to your computer with Lightburn if that's what you're used to. Whether you're old school with a desktop or more phone oriented, the Pixie plays nice with both. And it is Wi-Fi. As for construction, the chassis is stale for stability, the outer shell is plastic, and it's belt driven with dual rails for smooth, reliable movement. So in a nutshell, it's lightweight, portable, and functional for small projects. All right, let's go ahead and do a project with this machine. We're gonna do one of the built-in images. I wanna show you I'm using this small aluminum honeycomb bed and I find it works perfectly for the Algo Laser Pixie. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. If you'd like to use a regular honeycomb bed, these screws come out. You could take this plate off and lay the entire machine onto a regular honeycomb bed. This is three millimeter uh, basswood. And now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it is focused. You just take the lid off right here and you can see the laser module. Focusing this module is easy. Just take the focus hammer, place it under the laser module. On the module itself on top is a screw. Just turn it until they meet each other and you're done. All right, we're going to click on projects. We're going to go to an example page because I liked some of those. They were pretty cute. I had, they had these little monsters. There they are. Let's go with this guy. Gives you uh, all the settings and the amount of time it'll take and the size. This button right here will go ahead and frame it. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click it once. It wanted to home the machine. I forgot to home it. That's what that was about. So you see how it warned me. It's like, well, I'm not ready. So let's go ahead and frame it. That warning was pretty smart because unlike some lasers where it just would have ran into one of the rails, this one let me know that the machine hasn't been honed and now it needs to be honed. And it is all ready. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. It's telling me the lid's not closed all the way. So let's go ahead and make sure it's closed.
And there it goes. You can see what the screen displays while it's running. It shows the percentage, the amount of time that is left, the amount of time that it's taking, the speed that it's going at, and the power that it's going at. At any moment now, it's going to go ahead and start cutting. Now it's starting to cut. And this 5-watt uh, machine is going to cut this in one pass, which is nice. There we go. This came out really nice. I'm going to have to make a bunch of these things because it's pretty cool looking. Engraving came out nice and dark. No burns. Okay, let's do another project that's built into the machine. So we're going to click on projects. And we're going to go to the SD card. That's the built-in memory. Just to back up a little bit, you see how it says 3.2 gigabytes there? That's how much free space you have, so you can add your own files to this area. Click on the folder. Let's find an image. Let's just go with the Algo Laser logo. Hit engraving. And now we could go ahead and see if we can we could pick the type of material it is. I'm gonna guess this is basswood. You could pick actually how dark you want it to be. This could possibly be a default setting which is 4500 power 60. Let's confirm. So these are your settings now. You could change the speed. Let's just stick with that. Go to processing. All right, this is cool. This is where you could actually pick where it goes. And the laser is actually moving as I do that. And then you can pick the size of it. So now it's shrunk down. I can move it over. Let me show you more of what's going on by bringing the camera back. The laser moves with it. See that? That's how you could line it up. Plus, I could change the size. So let's go ahead and hit frame button. See if it's framed in a good spot which it's not, so I'm going to move that over. All right. We could actually make it a little bigger, so let's go ahead and make it a little bigger. Let's see if it's still framed well. That yeah, made it too big. But you see how well you could adjust everything. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's hit the start button. And there we go, starting to engrave. You really don't need a computer for this thing, especially since it takes a USB drive and you could load your images onto the machine. From what I understand, you could actually hook this up to the computer and then I don't think you can transfer from the USB to the machine, but you can transfer from the computer to this machine and store it on there. Well, this is going pretty quickly. What we'll do after this is we'll we'll see how the it came out and then perhaps change the settings. It's done. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do it at a different power setting. Basswood. All right, let's pick darker. Let's go 100% power at 3,000. All right, let's go ahead and hit start. This will either make this engraving better or worse. I definitely made it smaller. All right, it is finished. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. 
So you can really zone in. Very cool. All right, now the USB stick is in there. Let's go ahead and access it. Find the picture. Let's go with this zebra. Engrave. Let's stick with those settings. Just check it out. Yeah, I like this one. Hit confirm. I'm going to stick another piece of wood in here. Okay, so we're at high 80% power, medium speed, processing. Just go ahead and lift this since it seems we can when we are setting the... Uh, Framing up. Yep, perfect. I'm going to hit start. And there it goes. Just came out nice and dark. Detail is good. Alright, I had a simple time installing the machine into Lightburn. We're going to engrave leather here at 7,000 millimeters a minute and 60% power. And it says it's going to take us 13 minutes and 5 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. I like the way it came out. That's the nice thing about these lower wattage machines is that it really knows how to make the engraving nice and dark. There's minimal banding, most likely due to the fact that I didn't really set the image up. Very happy with the outcome. I plan on pairing the Algo Laser Pixie with the Viva Heat Hat Press at craft shows, and I think it's going to be a real attention grabber. The idea is simple people can pick from a library of preloaded images and I'll engrave custom hat patches for them on the spot. The Pixie's 100 by 100 millimeter work area means I had to size my patches accordingly. And the design I settled on is about 4.5 inches long by 2.5 inches wide, which fits well on a hat. Running at 70% power in 6,000 millimeter minute, the American flag patch took around 9.5 minutes to engrave. Simpler designs go even faster. And while it's not lightning quick, I'm hoping it's the kind of live customization that draws people in. First, let me apologize for my video effects. Remember, I'm just a person that just likes technology. I found them fond of video editing, and of course I love crafting. So I just gravitate to trying to have fun while I'm doing these things. Okay, let's go over some of the pros. Compact and portable. Standalone use. Touch screen layout. Plug and play. Perfect for personalization. Safety enclosure. It has a detail of a 5 watt laser. Built in storage. You can install your favorite images onto the machine. Here are the cons. Small work area. 10 by 10 centimeters. Fine for personalization but not big projects. But this is pretty much marketed to people that want small machines. Limited cutting power. This 5 watt engraves fantastically, but it's only going to cut thinner material. If you're trying to cut larger, thicker material, go ahead and get the 10 watt version. The Algo Pixie obviously fits into a niche market. If you're looking for a compact machine that can sit on your desk and handle personalization jobs without even needing a computer, this one definitely fits the bill. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And remember, be good to each other. We've only got one planet, so let's make it a celebration through cooperation. There's got to be a way we could learn to live together. Peace. Take care.